Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and welcome back to T-Way this week at Yanomize. Before I start walking around, let's have a look what was in last week and see how far they've come. Nobody knows but us how we roll. So first up, the Nissan GTR Nismo. That is now complete. Customers clicked it tomorrow. Chrome blue wrap, PPF on the carbon. It looks awesome. It's got the red pinstripe because obviously it is a Nismo. It's all got the private plate. Gussie, that is his dog's name. And he's really, really excited. That's been here a little while. We were playing catch up on all the cars, but the customer knows it's ready and tomorrow he'll be collecting that. So last week this car was outside. It is now in. It's in for PPF, paint protection film. It's also having a ghost immobilizer. What's a ghost immobilizer? It stops people from starting the car without a specific code if you've got the key. Um, this has got a massive, massive spec. Factory satin black paintwork. The interior, carbon everywhere. The lovely bucket Recaro seats. This is a great car and we know AMG, they do sound amazing. No, knows but so now we're heading to the new unit. Um, it's the Maxion Design RS3. That was in bay three of the old unit. The car is actually fully, fully wrapped. Daniel's just doing his final checks. Rio is fitting up the front bumper, and I think Nomi's doing park sensors. Um, what do we think of this color? This is lava orange. Um, it's a Nosatec. We know a Nosatec looks like paintwork. This car was originally white. Um, I'm a big fan of white. However, you wouldn't actually know it was white. The customer wanted outside only. Usually we do inside the door shut. Um, I think this is a show car, so they don't really care. So Max and Design obviously do styling. So this car's lowered, it's sitting on Voss and Wheels. I'll call it a young person's car. This is like, a, you've got the RS3, you've probably got the M2s, the M4s. I'd say the same sort of generation of people that like to drive these cars. Generation of people? That's probably wrong, yeah, isn't it? Young people can't afford to drive them. Young people can't afford to drive them. Depends what you do for a living. Daniel's never on camera. Daniel, where are you from, Daniel? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand, so I've got, got the accent. He's got a two year, <laughs> two -year visa. visa yep. And you've been there how long? Since uh, January. Since January, so soon it'll be a year. He's got one more year left. We're trying to keep him. We like Daniel. Dan Daniel's like one of the Anamized family. He's been here a while. It's a bit different to New Zealand, he said, though. A little bit, yeah. Um, <laughs> and obviously, you've got Nom Nom, the one girl rapper left. Everyone keeps saying, Where's Becky? And I, I do this every video. Becky works at Nero. So Nomi's here um, at Yanomize and Becky's at Nero. Nomi's like a rapper, but she does all like our branding, um, our stickers, our designs. Is that fair, Nomi, would you say? Yeah. Yeah? And that's Mark's girlfriend, if you didn't know. Yeah, that's Mark's girlfriend. Um, and obviously Rio. Rio started as a junior, and Rio now is a stripper and fitter um, on the weekends. <laughs> no joke. Uh, <laughs> Rio strips the cars and fits the cars now, so he's come a long way. Rio, how long have you been here? Um, I joined in 2018. 2018. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. So, we, he joined in 2018. So, he's been here two years. He played up a little bit, so I had to say goodbye. And he left, and fair play to him, held his hands up. He said, you know what, I was a bit immature. I didn't actually understand what I had here. And he came back and apologised. So, I took him back. Usually, when I get rid of a member of staff, I don't take them back. They never come back. They never come back here. Once you go, you ain't coming back. But Rio, to be fair, came back, and he's now flying so he's, he's a really valid member of the team anyway over to the sl that has been here ages and ages and ages this had a load of bodywork done at mvsl um, they had to prep this car ready for us to wrap it it is now fully fully wrapped pav who's like the old dog's been here forever as long as me um, it could be called pavi my that's how long you've been here isn't it the old dog, mate. The old dog. The old dog. Um, so he's fitting this back up. Again, this has got a nose of tech a wrap on it. Khaki green. There was a debate on the wheels. The chrome wheels with the gloss black. Personally now, I think with the colour, I think it works. A lot of people are going to say the gloss black wheels will probably work better. But you do have like silver chrome on the bonnet. You do have it on the front grille as well. I think that's all the cars. So we had new cars arrive. So what have we got here? We've got this Mini. This had a full design on it from Hertz. Um, there was three of them. This is the first one that's come back to be stripped. As you can see, there's still bits of vinyl on the front. Rio's gonna jump on this, start taking the bumpers off to fit that back to um, standard. It looks quite cool in black, as you can see. No issue with the paintwork, like normal with us. We've had an S-Class. This customer has had loads of cars done with us. Um, 
He's now done it sat in dark grey. Sat in dark grey is like a joke thing that we call Andrew's jobs. So Andrew books in loads of cars and they're always sat in dark grey. Um, but this is an S-Class with shuts and returns. It's having all the chrome to gloss black. It had new wheels. Um, it's having tinted windows. Yeah, this is a big job. It's got like a baseball leather interior. I don't know if you remember, my old school followers might remember the Audi TTs. And they used to have like the brown interior. And they used to call it baseball. It's got lovely two screens on the dashboard as well. It's like, like sitting in the cinema room. But anyway, we'll leave that. Let's head over back to the old unit. Oh, hold on. Well, we'll go outside. So I've got my Lambo. I say my Lambo. I borrowed this Lambo because I don't have a car. So my SVR's gone. My Lambo's parked up somewhere else and I'm not really using it. Um, so I've got the Perf Spider over there. It's got a fantastic number plate on it. So the car's green and the plate is Hulk. So I've got a Tesla. This is another Andrew job. Have a guess what color it's going. Yep, satin dark gray. That is Andrew's like signature color. They turn up and he's like, have a look at satin dark gray. Do you like this, sir? The majority of Teslas we have at Yanomas usually have the white interior. This actually got a black interior. What are we thinking? Black, white? I think I like the white. This is the first of two cars from MBSL. So they're the ones that actually done the bodywork on the SL. And they've sent us this Jag and they've sent us another car that's over there. Um, but this car is awesome. Um, it's an absolute weapon, sounds amazing. And he's chose a good color. That is not the private plate, by the way. Um, it came on trade plates. But yeah, there'll be more on this next week. Behind you, we've got a Ferrari 488. This is having PPF, satin black side seals. It's having Novatec rear lights in gloss black. Um, yeah, we do like a Ferrari 488. It's not a Lambo though, is it? Let's be honest, let's be honest. So we're in the old unit now. The first thing I see is the Toyota Supra. This really, really split opinions um, on Instagram. People are like, is it a Toyota? Is it a BMW? What is it? It doesn't even know what it is. And um, all I know is it's the new Supra, it's twin turbo. It does have a lot of BMW parts, shall we say. I think it's quite cool. It's being wrapped in a Nosatec purple. Um, yeah, is it Jap? Is it German? You know, Nico is obviously a Jap fan. Nico, talk to me, this Supra, Jap or German? Yeah, the parts of BMW. <laughs> the parts of BMW. This is what I'm saying. Everyone keeps saying that. Everyone was slating this car online. Um, I haven't driven it. The interior seems really, really cool. I don't know. I might have to drive it and see. Maybe I'll drive it next week. Um, but listen, it's brand new, box fresh. Came straight from the dealer. Delivery miles. And the first thing he did was wrap it. Um, but yeah, he chose a great color. You can't beat the color. So we've got the Maserati here. This is having a full chrome delete. So all the chrome's to gloss black. It's having gloss black wheels. And on the front M, like the Maserati badge, he wants that in chrome rose gold. So that's gonna be fun for Nico and Mark to do that. Um, but that's up in the air and that's in full process. I mentioned MVSL, that is their other car. It's an SLS. Um, this is a fantastic car. People love this. The doors go up. It's, it's a great car. I used to have one of these as well in satin pearl white. Um, and what I like about this, look at the number plate. F1 UFO. Look at the interior. Looks like the beigey white with the black centers um, and black uh, piping. Really, really cool. It's got different wheels to the ones I had. It's got gray calipers. It's got gloss black, loads of gloss black elements that they painted before it came to us. Um, so literally whatever's red is what we're gonna wrap. Everything else will stay factory. The fun job for Chris is he's got to strip this down. Obviously the doors go up. So it's not the easiest thing to wrap. However, we are only wrapping the outside of this. So it does make Mark and Nico's life a lot easier. Um, the mirrors are gonna stay gloss black. I'm a big Mercedes SLS fan, but you can't beat a car when the doors go up. If the doors don't go up, it don't count. So I'm gonna finish the video with the Lamborghini Performante with the Hulk number plate. Guys, stay tuned. I do have a new car coming. Um, comment down below. Urus, Taycan. Which one? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week at Yanomai's or T-Way as we now call it. For myself, there's no one else around. I'll see you soon. Take care.